What's up everybody, Y Davis here, back with another review. So let me show you guys the Air Jordan 9 Particle Gray. And before I get into the video, I just want to say thank you guys for all the support. Keep on liking, keep on subscribing, and it really motivates me to keep going and see you guys liking my content. Also, let's you know I'm in the right direction to show you guys what you want to see. If you're new to the channel, I just want to say thank you and welcome. I drop a lot of dope content here, so consider subscribing. Also, there's a 4K video playing in the background of me, and you guys will news videos coming ahead of time. You follow me on Instagram, at Davis. But let's get right into it, guys. So these did actually come out today. Now, um... From the foot sites, meaning like Foot Locker app, Champs, and things like that, I didn't see men's pairs on those apps. They only had GS. So it was very hard and limited to get this Air Jordan 9 today. Um, only Boutiques had it, and uh, I think Snipes had it. But uh, other than that, it was pretty hard to get it. Well, at least here in the tri-state area. But um, I did go with a size 9.5 on these. Retail is 200. Current resale is going for about 280 to 300. Uh, it might be going down now. It might be at like 270 to 260, uh, which is probably the best time to buy, which is like right now if you really want these. But uh, we just get a Jordan box here. Let me get the red Jumpman at the top right there. Okay. Um, pretty fire, in my opinion. The colorway on this open up the top of the box. We get the blue stamp right there. We get the garbage bag, black paper on the inside. Take out this pretty nice colorway shoe, in my opinion. Um, now, I've been collecting shoes for a long time and uh these remind me of the kilroy pack and the reason why i say pack because they didn't come in like two shoes in one pack but when nike was dropping these or jordan whatever you want to call it was dropping these they dropped like a few different shoes by character meaning like the name of the shoe and it came out with like the kilroy the multiple joan and i forget the name of the other ones but um Basically what they did with this upper here was they gave it like that quilt material but made it look You know similar to what it looked like back then so like on this chili red one Basically, we just got like a color swap on all this red up here Which was black before and this is different which was white before but on this one if you guys look at it It kind of reminds me of the military four that came out um, kind of like that same color blocking and another thing about this one it kind of reminds me of a uh, Another thing about this one it kind of reminds me of just how Nike is just, you know, going back to, you know, just taking a color from one shoe and just putting it on the next, you know what I mean? Because it seems like that's what we're seeing nowadays. Uh, we're just seeing like different colorways that was hot on one shoe, just make it to another shoe, in my opinion. Now, um, I think these are fly. I think the colorway is dope. Um, this is like an all purpose shoe. You know what I mean? You could wear this casually and ball in these. But uh, my thing is, like with Air Jordan 9s, I just remember them having like an all, leper, a all leather upper. And I like this quote material because, you know, it doesn't bend up in the front of the shoe and things like that. But that's just my opinion. But um, let's get right into it, guys. On the bottom of the shoe here, we get the black jump man. The rest of the shoe is white. We get a little bit of that gray on the inside right there. But uh, at the top, we get some different languages at the top. Also some different symbols in different languages as well. Coming towards the outside of the shoe here on the outside, we get that jump man in the back in black. All right, and then we get some white. And on the outside, we get that gray rubber. Same thing on the inside right there. Okay, pretty fire. Now coming back to the outside of the shoe here, we get like this very tight new buck suede. Okay, and gray under. And then we get some gray stitching. And then on top of that, we get like this quilt material in black all the way around the shoe. Pretty fire, show you guys the outside first. Pretty clean in my opinion. What do you guys think about these? Copper drop, very nice neutral colorway. You could match a lot with these. So I'm pretty sure these are gonna sell out quick and people are gonna be wanting these. You know what I mean? So what do you guys think? Show you guys the inside, pretty fire, same thing. Pretty nice in my opinion. Okay, now coming towards the front of the toe box here, once again, we get this quilt like material on the front of the toe box. So these will not crease up on you like other leather shoes will. You know what I mean? You can get a lot more wears out of these and it will look pretty much brand new in the toe box. You know what I mean? For the most part, in my opinion. So you don't have to worry about wearing any force fills or shoe trees or anything like that in these when you're wearing them that make them look 100%. In front of that, on the mud guard, we get the gray right there with the white creeping up from the bottom. Pretty fine in my opinion. Okay, now we do only get one pair of laces in these and they come with the black laces. And then uh, if you guys look at the tongue here, we get like this mesh tongue and in the middle, we get like that uh, neoprene kind of going up. And then it says Air Jordan at the top in red. And the background of that is black. Okay, we also get these black lace holes on the shoe as well. All right. On the inside of the tongue here, we just get the sizing and things like that. All right. And then show you guys the actual inside of the shoe. We get some 
cardboard inserts and on the actual inside of the shoe it is black and the sock lining is black as well basically the shoe is like a boot made into a, a shoe so you know it keeps your foot in place which reminds me to make sure you guys go up at least a half a size i'm going to show you guys my foot is in the toe box on these so make sure you guys stay throughout the whole video for that but um on the insole it's actually black as well and then we get a red jump man with the sizing sticker on it okay as you guys can see that right there pretty nice now on the back it does say aj9 and aj8 so maybe we'll be seeing some air jordan 8s later on this year we already seen one this year but uh actually i seen that shoe sitting at the nike store i should have copied it so i could review it for you guys but it totally slipped my mind um but yeah, I'm going to show you guys my foot is in a toe box right now. Okay, guys. So this is what they look like on feet. Pretty clean in my opinion. Now I'm a true size. Now I'm normally getting nine and a half in all my shoes. Except for 450s and 350s. I believe you need to go a full size up on those. But with these, I did go a half a size up. And I'm pretty happy with that because these do run a little bit snug in my opinion. Uh, even with these, it feels a little tight up here. Like around the sides right here. As you guys can see, like this is actually me right here so these do run a little bit snug in my opinion and as you guys can see as well i have the shoes unlaced so unlaced they are pretty tight up in this area right here um when it gets further back it does start to loosen up as you guys can see i could actually push in and before it touched my actual foot but up here you know that's like my foot right there as you guys can see but i'm gonna show you guys my foot in the toe box right here so big toe is right here okay so i do have a little bit of space in that toe box up there but uh I would suggest you guys going up half a size on these unless, you know what I mean, you have like a pretty skinny foot or whatever the case may be. But if you have a wide foot, go at least a half size up when you are trying to purchase these. Other than that, they are pretty comfortable on feet. Um, you won't have to worry about any creases as well because they come in like this canvas quilt material, you know what I mean, all the way around the shoe. But other than that, pretty dope shoe. Um, I'm going to show you guys what these look like with some different pants options right now. I'm coming to the back of the shoes here. We get this pull tab. Then we get the red globe with the jump man right there on top. And the background of that is black. Then we get this gray, very tight new buck on the back of the shoe. All right. Then we get the 23 stitching back there as well. Pretty fire in my opinion. Okay, guys. So I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Show your boy some love. And stay tuned.